There are three major types of telescopes, but remember, they all ultimately do the same thing. They gather light to bring the universe within reach of our eyes. The most common of the three telescope types is the refractor. They have the familiar long and skinny look that many people associate the appearance of a telescope with. Galileo Galilei himself used a type of refractor when he first discovered new worlds, including Jupiter and its moons. A refractor telescope gathers its light with a glass objective lens at the front, and it bends the light, or refracts it, to a point of focus at the end of the tube. It works much like your eye does at first. When the light is bent, it also flips upside down and backwards. Unless another aid is used, the image will appear this way in the eyepiece. Most all refractors have such an aid. Prism or mirror diagonals fit between the telescope and eyepiece to flip the image right side up again. Refractors are known for their high contrast and sharpness, which makes them great for viewing the moon and planets, typically bright objects that we can easily see in our backyard. Reflectors provide the most size per cost than any other scope and are typically the biggest telescopes. Quite simply, they deliver the biggest bang for the buck. When viewing faint objects such as galaxies and nebulas, a large telescope is necessary. Reflectors are the prime choice for this since they typically are the largest of the three types of telescopes. A reflector telescope gathers its light with a large primary mirror towards the back. The light path reflected from the mirror goes to another smaller mirror towards the top, also called the secondary mirror. The secondary mirror simply reflects the light to the side of the telescope where the eyepiece and focuser is located. Reflectors come in a few different forms. Some that are mounted on a traditional tripod and mount are usually referred to as a Newtonian reflector. Others, such as Dobsonian reflectors, are really the same type of telescope, but they're placed on a different base that sits on the ground. Check out telescopes such as the SkyQuest Dobsonians. Finally, we have the catadioptric family of telescopes. This covers a pretty big category, but it's really a compound telescope that uses both mirrors and lenses to gather the light and deliver the image for you. The most common type of catadioptric telescope is the family of Cassegrains. The Schmidt Cassegrain and the Maxitoff Cassegrain are the two most popular kind of catadioptric, also called compound telescopes. Catadioptric telescopes use both mirrors and lenses. The single lens at the front is called the corrector lens. The corrector lens accommodates for the short design of the telescope. Then, much like a reflector, the light comes to a concave primary mirror located at the back of the scope. When the light comes back to the secondary mirror at the top, it comes back down again and passes through the back of the telescope to the eyepiece. Much like a refractor, there is a diagonal that is placed between the eyepiece and the telescope to correct the image and make it right side up. Cassegrains make good all-around telescopes for stargazing, photography, and daytime viewing. These jack-of-all-trades telescopes appeal to any type of celestial observation. They're very portable. You can see that it's a short telescope design compared to the reflector or the refractor, so it offers a good portable solution to somebody who wants light gathering but still wants a telescope that's easy to transport.